Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Gela and Hermelin. This is a correspondence game that was played in 1973. Gela had white pieces and he started at d4. Hermelin played d5, c4, queen's gambit. D takes on c4, queen's gambit accepted. Knight to f3, the most popular move. Second most popular move is e4. It's also a good move. We have knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, e6, bishop takes on c4, c5, white castle at kingside, a6 preparing b5, queen to e2, with the idea to play the rook to d1, b5 attacking the bishop, Bishop to b3, bishop to b7, rook to d1, lining the rook with black queen. Knight from b to d7, knight to c3, and black played queen to b8. Queen to b6 is a good alternative move. We have queen to b8, d5, knight takes on d5, knight takes knight. Bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, rook takes on d5. Lots of exchanges here. Bishop to e7. Black is getting ready to castle kingside. e4. Knight to b6. White rook is under attack. What now? What is the best square for the rook? What would you do? Gela played rook to h5, aiming at h7. h7 is quite often the most vulnerable spot after castling. And black did castle kingside. e5, rook to e8. This looks like a sensible move. Most of the time, this kind of move is good. Lining the rook with the white queen. But in this particular case, it's not the best move. Why? How should white continue? What would you do? What move brings advantage to white? e6 brings the advantage. Black played f6. If instead f takes on e6, then queen takes on e6 check, and after king to h8, Queen to g6. And what now? King to g8? h6? Doesn't work. Bishop takes on h6. Devastating attack. That is why black played f6. Knight to h4. Queen to d6. Her Majesty arrived on the scene just to be a target of the wild white horse. Queen to c7. We have reached the most interesting position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? White played a move and black resigned. The move is rook takes on h7. If you found knight takes on g7, this is also winning. If king takes knight, which looks like the most obvious move, then queen to e4 is winning. Okay, in the game we have rook takes on h7 and black resigned. In view of this continuation, king takes rook, then queen to h5 check. King to g8, check, and after king to h7, there is checkmate in one. Queen takes on g7, checkmate. Nice, isn't it? Did you find the killer move? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video.
I wish you a good life with your King Hunt and bye for now.